Hello friends and welcome to my studio today. Why don't you just come right on in and let's get started on today's project. Fall is one of my favorite times of the year and I love the fall decorations and the fall festival that occurs. So I'm sitting down and I'm sketching out a girl for fall and I lost some of the footage of where I started so we're gonna have to start at this point where I just started drawing her hat. Okay, now that I have sketched the girl out, I am starting to add the color to her face, and I'm using the Soft Conte pastels to do this, and so I'm just choosing colors at random, whatever I feel like should go on her face at the moment, and trying them out, seeing how they look, and I'm just grabbing one at a time and layering it in, pushing it in with my fingers and see where she takes me. I love doing paintings with um, soft pastels in my fingers. It's so relaxing to me. So most pieces of my artwork that I do these days, this is the way that I start out each and every piece.
so here we are at this stage and what I did was is I just kept layering and layering the soft Conte pastels <clears throat> using whatever color I thought would look good just playing around and if you would like to know what kind of pastels that I used for this, it's called Conte Paris. I got these on Dick Blick. And in between the layering with the Conte Soft Pastels, I would also use a fixative, which is the best that I have found for soft pastels since they are so vibrant in color regular fixative will turn them a dark color so to keep them vibrant I use the spectra fix fixative it's all natural odor free and it's a milk case and formula it's for pastels for chalk pastels um, pencil charcoal and even oil pastels and also you can use it on colored pencils so this is my favorite because it doesn't turn the pastel dark and like I said I would use that in between the layers on her face and then once I got to a certain point with the soft pastels I went ahead and added some pan pastels not a lot but just in areas where I thought that she needed it and so now we're at the point of looking at her deciding kind of what we want to do with the body and what I wanted to show you was something that I did last year and this is a piece that I did last year see if I can zoom this out a little bit I think that's as far as it's gonna go so this is a piece that I did last year and it's a collage on wood and I really really like it so I want to zoom in on the skirt and have you take a good look at her skirt Her skirt is actually painted on and then her legs are from just something I cut out of a catalog I wanted to really make her look quirky and fun so I'll probably do something similar to this with this girl that's what I'm kind of thinking about I don't know I just really love tutus I just think they're adorable so more than likely I will give her a tutu. In the meantime, I wanted to show you. This time of the year, I get all kinds of magazines in the mail. And one of the things that I like to do is fussy cut out certain elements. So here I fussy cut out some legs from a catalog I received in the mail. And I'll decide which one of these might look the best on my girl. I like using the collage legs and something like this because it's just so quirky and fun.
starting to design the tutu and I actually took the watercolor paper and started putting down some watercolor and right now I'm actually using acrylic white paint to go in and add the design to the tutu. So I just keep layering up the tutu with the white paint right now. At the top on the bodice, I found some really cute ribbon that was kind of see-through that I really, really liked. So I went ahead and soft gel the ribbon to the bodice and give it a little bit more interest. Now I'm adding a little bit of sparkly stickles to give it a little bit of bling. What's a bodice without bling? And I'm also adding down in the tutu as well to kind of tie it together. A little more interest with a little bit more color. deciding that I wanted to actually give the piece a more realistic 3D look. So I'm actually going to put in eyelets all the way down the bodice 
and loop ribbon through them to make it look more realistic. So I'm going to cut it out first and then add those elements and see how it looks from there. leftovers and I made her a little skirt to go beneath the tutu and looped in the ribbon in the bodice after I set all of the eyelets in the holes that I created. So now I'm ready to work on the background.
Now I'm taking the Galleria oil crayons and just putting it down on the edges and smearing in with my fingers. Now I'm putting a little bit of color around the edges with the Nia Color 2's and wetting it with water, just smearing around. I'm looking for just a loose grunge type look. What I did was take a little bit of gesso and roll it in on the edges to give it a little bit of softness where I actually put down the collage pieces. And now I'm going with some super heavy gesso with stencil and stenciling on some stars and some things on the bottom where she'll actually be standing to make it look like there's a little bit of a rock there under her feet. ready to call her done and present her to the world and I think I'm going to call her Ermine Tree. So if you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe. Take care. See you later.